Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here, and today I'm bringing you a review of a different sort. Today we have what could very well be the first case of an action figure brought to market in the Godzilla market, anyway, that has not seen an official release yet. Today we're going to be taking a look what can be best be described as a bootleg SH Monster Arts Showa King Ghidorah. So this Ghidorah here is a sculpt that we have not seen yet in the action figure realm. It is fully jointed but um, it doesn't have the correct paint scheme so a lot of folks here are walking that fine line between whether or not this is ethical to purchase which you're the consumer you make the choice there or um, should they maybe wait for a potential legitimate version to come from Tamashii Nations proper well I've got it I'm having fun with it and I'm liking it so let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection so before we get the review formally started, let's talk about where exactly this thing may have come from. First, there are some folks saying that this was a model kit that was re-engineered to be an action figure. Then there are some folks saying that this is a, uh, it's an altered X plus sculpt. It's not. Then there's the idea that this is a bootleg SH Monster Arts figure insofar as that bootlegger's got a hold of an unused mold and or prototype and just went ahead and did a production run of the figure without it actually being released. That one is probably most likely. So why is this not an X Plus? I guess the company that made this is allegedly Legend Creation, which is also highly suspect because the first listings of this that came up online for sale were from HC Toys. Uh, allegedly, somewhere they said that they uh, modified an X Plus figure. Um, I've never seen this post anywhere. I've tried to look, so whether or not that's valid, uh, no, I'm going to say it's not. Uh, because everyone likes to say stuff without providing a source, so that's immediately out the window. Second, we do have the model kit, which originally uh, there was a model kit that was in the 20 centimeter range made by Yuji Sakai, and the official billing height is about 20 centimeters tall. Well, this in a similar pose reaches 23 centimeters at about this point on Ghidorah, which technically would be smaller uh, than the highest point in the neck. So that being said, in the recasting process, things shrink, they don't get bigger, so this isn't it. So then you might say, well, Steven, it has joints, that means that it will get bigger. Mm, but the fact that it has joints is actually something to really keep in mind here. Why is that? Well, since it has joints, it's not just joints stuck into chopped up parts of the model kit. It actually has some engineering to it, which le legitimately lends itself to being an action figure. What am I talking about? As you move Ghidorah around, you'll see that there's nothing that is sort of not sculpted, if you will. So for an example, as the wing falls off, as we love to have it, as you move the neck, you'll see that there are scales here underneath where they would be hidden up if you move the neck in a different way. As you move the ab crunch, there are more scales that are hidden there that are revealed as the figure moves. So essentially, it's engineered with the intention to be an action figure as SH Monster Arts would be. Now, if this were to have been a model kit that a third party would have just put a lot of effort into to get to market, why is it that it would have such bad quality control in the paint and have the paint scheme of the completely wrong year for King Ghidorah? Occam's razor here pretty much just says bootleggers got a hold of a new King Ghidorah sculpt then ran it with the 2019 paint scheme because it's the new King Ghidorah. If you really don't care about this stuff, you can't really tell the difference between aquamarine and teal, or blue and sky blue, or anything like that. Point is, this is probably a Monster Arts bootleg, and we got it early. So we just went over what this may exactly be, and I already talked about the sculpt and the articulation just a bit. I touched on it, but let's go on to the actual nitty-gritty on how this figure looks. The sculpt is 
it's fantastic. It really does look like Showa King Ghidorah here. There's really nothing wrong in the sculpt department. The teeth look fantastic. He has all of the correct horns. The scaling on this figure is really impressive when we look up close. All of the details are immaculate. We even have fantastic little folds and ripples in the wings. So if you are a fan of the Showa King Ghidorah design, I'm believing most specifically 1964, this is going to be the one for you. However, it is completely dropped in regards to paint application. Why? Well, this was ran in production run using the King Ghidorah 2019 paint scheme. What does that mean? Well, it's going to be a dark coloration close to almost a tannish brown instead of the nice vibrant gold like we're used to for King Ghidorah. The horns that uh, are painted on this one anyway, they're sort of painted uh, rather sloppily like they're trying to imitate the horn paint job on the Monster Arts King Ghidorah 2019. The eye decals are not placed correctly on any of the heads. Some of them have yellow, some of them don't. Some of them are running down onto his cheek. Some of them are up on his eyebrows. The mouths look all like the 2019 King Ghidorah. There's brown on the figure, really dark brown, in some areas where the Monster Arts had it as well. The back of the wings aren't painted. Yeah. Also, in terms of general quality control, we do have some issues with paint chipping here and there. The wings are an absolute colossal nightmare with splotches of paint that aren't even on this figure otherwise. There are paint bubbles, there are little divots found in the wings. The wings are also very frail in some regards because I also had one of the wing little spikes chipped off already which reveals white plastic underneath which these wings also do feel very similar to the King Ghidorah 2019 release yeah overall the sculpt on this thing is why you're going to be bringing this home or also maybe because you don't have a show of King Ghidorah but the paint yeah if you know how to repaint this congratulations you're going to have a wicked cool base King Ghidorah's articulation will be very familiar to SH Monster Arts fans because um let's be real here it's probably a bootleg of a Monster Arts. Reason being is that the articulation is very spot on to the character, as I made mention before, and the only issue with stuff falling off is going to be the wings. Other than that, yeah, it's really good. Suspiciously good. So what do we have? Well, King Ghidorah's jaws are attached on assumingly a ball joint here, so we can open and close all of the little mouths. This one was basically frozen on mine. I had to heat it up, and then uh, once I heated it up, the tongue did some weird stuff, and now it won't fully open or close, but hey, it at least does that, all right? Right. So the necks, as usual for a King Ghidorah Monster Arts figure, they're all going to be on double access or barbell style ball joints, but you could not get any other legitimate Monster Arts King Ghidorah product to safely do any sorts of twisting and turning like that. It just simply doesn't happen, folks. You have stuff popping off, and I can freely do this with the Ghidorah in front of me, no problem. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get him to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a flex there. Yeah, we got it. We got Chad Ghidorah over here on uh, pretend anything Monster Arts. You can put whatever you want there. Yeah. Yep. So articulation is good here. What is even better on the uh, King Ghidorah here is that he does have his uh, waist joint or ab crunch, whatever you would call that, and uh, it is it it's functional. So King Ghidorah can turn to the side, can turn to the other side, can move back, can move down. Unlike the Heisei Ghidorah, where it's just kind of a little pivot, the whole thing shakes, stuff falls off. Yep. So that's good. Now we do have ball jointed hips. This one likes to fall off. See, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> this one likes to fall off, but that is because while I was heating up the head, uh, I was more so aiming at the body and it popped off and I've never seated it back in correctly. So I'm just flying blind there. But yeah, uh, we do have hinged knees with ball joints. So this way we can move the knees around a bit more. We do have the infamous cut in the middle of the leg there. So this way we have another ball joint, another point of movement for Ghidorah, and then ball joints and ankles, so we get even more movement there. For the tails, it's even more so different than the Heisei Ghidorah because this plugs into the body, and that is on a ball joint, which was detached from the box. I never actually got it seated incorrectly, so it is going to want to pop off. There goes the wing again, which we'll talk about in a second. 
So I'll just go ahead and take that off. Uh, yeah, I didn't never got that seated in properly, but I'll go ahead and fix that. And then we do have the tails, which, as you know, Monster Arts Ghidorah is very good to begin with. So there's that. Now for the wings. Uh, the wings, on all of them that I've seen so far, they both duplicate a joint. So we're thinking that it's looking like the left joint because the right one has a good range of movement. Uh, but just because of the way that it looks, you can see that there's little tab cut on both sides. Yeah. So it looks like they just put the same joint on both sides. So it is a hinge. So we can move Ghidorah's wings up and down. But there is also a swivel which allows us to raise and lower the wings. Now, initially it was reported by someone that there was no movement in the wings at all, but this just simply isn't the case. They also don't fit in 100% correct. They are a little loose, so don't be surprised if they fall off. And like I showed you before, unfortunately I had a chip on one of the wings. So for articulation here, aside from pretty much the wings, and uh, if you don't have everything seated in properly, then uh, I, I mean, you're not gonna have any issues. It moves just like a Showa King Ghidorah would, which is basically all we can ask for. Now, accessories. We're just going to go ahead and combine the two into one because this section will not take long. The Showa Ghidorah comes with <laughs> more <laughs> uh, validity. This is a bootleg. Uh, comes with the Godzilla versus King Ghidorah Heisei <laughs> support stand. So... Even if you were to compare these two side by side, you would see that this has actually different dimensions. It's a little smaller and doesn't quite fit the special color version King Ghidorah or the Heisei Ghidorah for that matter uh, perfectly as the legitimate version of it. So for the Showa one, that means, uh, I mean, it shouldn't at all. But, uh, you know, it kind of works. It kind of does. Not really. It is also loose, and it really does not support, wait, <laughs> too well. So, whoop, there he goes. So, yeah. So, if you get one of these, um, well, if you have the original Heisei King Ghidorah Monster Arts, you'll at least get a support stand that can kind of help with that one. But, yeah, just be careful when you're using it with the Showa King Ghidorah because it, it ain't going to support him too well. He will fall. Originally, this guy was shown to come with the special color versions, uh, gravity beams, the different colored ones, but unfortunately, that is not the case here. So all in all, for accessories, eh, it's okay. I mean, the stand, you could really take it or leave it. Now it's time for a size comparison here with some other figures you just might have. I'm throwing in the Showa Revel Tech Rodan and 1964 Godzilla because, um, I'm not going to reuse these pictures ever. No, 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 no. It's just a comprehensive size comparison here, so you can get a good idea of how Ghidorah might be alongside some of his fellow kaiju stars on your shelf. Uh, yeah, he's pretty big. Now, of course, some folks are definitely going to be asking, Steven, how does this look next to the Heisei King Ghidorah Monster Arts? Well, viewer... I'm happy to help answer that question. As you can see, the sculpt is 100% completely different from the ground up. Whether it's going to be the spike placement on the back of the necks, the way the body is sculpted, the legs, the tail connection, the wings, everything on the Showa King Ghidorah figure you are seeing in front of you is 100% brand new and never been present before in the SH Monster Arts lineup. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Overall, this, whatever it is, it's going to be a bootleg figure, does look really good in terms of sculpt. It moves fantastically well, but the overall paint application here really does hurt. The fact that we don't have a legitimate 1964 or 1968 or what other movie era year he showed up in, Showa King Ghidorah. I feel like we're going to get close sooner or later, but this is the best we have for now. He's a little too big to be in proper Showa scale, but that's okay. Ghidorah's supposed to be big. Overall, though, for the price, I mean, you, you can't beat it. This figure is actually pretty dang cool. You can get him for about 80 bucks if you're checking on eBay or AliExpress, whatever it may be. So all in all, yeah, he ain't perfect, but you know what? I'm going to repaint him. He's going to look pretty good. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me 
I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.